Hello learners today we are going to discuss the MCQs from drug store and business management we are on part 4 from the DSBM the chapter is forms of business organization from forms of business organization we are going to cover few of the MCQs wherein i will request you to go through the earlier parts so to start with the questions here on pharmacy info line the unique feature is you are getting the mcqs along with the explanation so come and join us for the mcqs with explanation first question is in cooperative society liability of the members is limited to dash in the type of business organization called as cooperative societies what is the liability of the member to which it is limited whether it is the face value of shares held by them whether the profits and the losses whether both of them or none of them which amongst the given is correct about the liability of the members of cooperative society matlab कॉपरेटिव सोसाइटी के मेंबर्स की लाइबिलिटी क्या होती है कहाँ तक लिमिटेड होती है द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस एम सी क्यू इज इट इज यू कैन पुट योर आंसर इन द कमेंट बॉक्स एंड यू कैन वेरीफाई द करेक्ट आंसर अमॉन्ग द गिवन ऑप्शन इज इट इज फेस वैल्यू ऑफ शेयर्स हेल्ड बाय देम इन कॉपरेटिव सोसाइटी लाइबिलिटी ऑफ द मेंबर्स इज लिमिटेड टू Face value of shares held by them, like um the sh share, the part, whatever that partner is having, the liability also it is limited to particular that amount of share only. Next question is cooperative societies include dash, whether the cooperative societies include cooperative credit societies. cooperative housing societies cooperative farming societies or all of them which among the given is the correct answer about the cooperative societies you can put your answer in the comment box till that we will go for explanation and you can verify your answer now you can put your answer as 2 ka which option a b c or d question 2 a b c d that means it will be easy for you people also to answer quickly 2 a 2 d 2 etc and so on you are supposed to give your answer in the comment box then the correct answer for this question is it is all of them cooperative societies include cooperative credit societies also housing societies also as well as farming societies also and there are many more types next question is public enterprise include dash whether the public enterprise include lic idpl banks all of them which among the given is the correct answer you can put your answer in the comment box and then you can verify now according to the concept of public enterprise which we have covered it is nothing but enterprise which is run partly or wholly that means a uh, part of it can be run by government or complete it can be run by government so this thing we are going to talk about the types of public enterprises the correct answer for this is it is all of them public enterprise include lic idpl banks etc okay next question is public enterprise are owned and controlled by dash whether the public enterprise are owned and controlled by state enterprise whether by central enterprise both of them or none of them the correct answer is it is both of them state government central government and uh, both controls the public enterprises own and controlled by them next question is the enterprise financed by both government as well as private investors is dash 
whether it is state enterprise whether it is public enterprise whether both of them or none of them that means aisa enterprise jisko government as well as private investors bhi finance kar sakte hai wo isme se kaun sa hai come on you can put your answers fast in the comment section the correct answer for this is both of them state enterprise as well as public enterprise next question is basic aim of public enterprise is dash whether the basic aim of public enterprise is to provide maximum employment to stop the exploitation of the workers to provide the good services to the society or all of them the public enterprise if you will talk about as we have discussed in our earlier parts also detailed regarding the public enterprise what are the aims of public enterprise whether to provide the maximum employment yes correct because since it is partly or wholly run by the government and next is to stop the exploitation of the workers yes very correct then to provide the good services to the society yes this is the prime this is the prime aim so the correct answer is it is all of them aims of public enterprise include all the aims along with that many more are also there next question is the entrepreneurs among the given are responsible for amassing wealth are whether private entrepreneurs public entrepreneurs both of them or none of them the correct answer is it is private entrepreneurs the entrepreneurs amongst the given like whether the private entrepreneurs are there okay public entrepreneurs are there which amongst the given is correct the correct answer is it is private entrepreneurs wherein we had a talk about the private entrepreneurs that they are run by the private that means they are run by the private inv investors not by government so it is private entrepreneurs next question is the enterprise wherein a major part is invested by government is dash whether it is private enterprise whether it is public enterprise whether it is both of them or none of them which amongst the given is the correct answer the correct answer is it is public enterprise the major part wherein it is invested by the government is public enterprise next question is the oldest form of business organization is dash whether it is partnership whether it is joint hindu family whether it is sole proprietorship or all of them which amongst the given is the oldest form of business organization yes definitely the correct answer is it is sole proprietorship the oldest form of business organization is sole proprietorship next question is the maximum number of partners allowed in a general business is dash whether the maximum number of partners allowed in general business is 10 20 50 or unlimited the correct answer is it is definitely 20 because according to the partnership firms laws and regulations the number of partners allowed are 20 next question is the maximum number of partners allowed in a banking business is dash whether it is 10 20 40 or 50 again the correct answer is it is 10 maximum number of partners allowed in case of banking businesses it is 10 next question is the maximum number of members allowed in a public limited company is dash whether the number of members allowed in public limited company is 10 20 50 or unlimited the correct answer is it is unlimited because since it's a public limited company there is no limit for the number of members since it is not run by the completely by private investors 
then next question is in which of the following forms of business organization registration is compulsory whether it is partnership form sole proprietorship joint stock company or all of them which amongst the given is the correct answer the correct answer is it is joint stock company the forms of business organization uh, which are given wherein the registration for that form of business organization is mandatory is joint stock company because in case of joint stock company <coughs> multiple investors are investing their huge amounts and it is raising huge capital along with that huge production and along with that huge sale next question so with this we finish with few of the mcqs from drug store and business management forms of business organization part 4 and stay tuned with us for the further more parts and various other topics from the same subject thank you